first you want to eliminate uh, horizontal boxes or uh, rows or on rows. Uh, for example, we have this uh, box right here, and uh, if you look at the horizontal line, okay, we'll draw up a bunch of numbers here, uh, 1 through 9, and uh, we can eliminate the 9. We can eliminate the 7 because that's not going to be used there. Uh, second off, you want to eliminate uh, vertical boxes on columns. So if we go back to the same corresponding thing, we look at the vertical. Uh, well, there's a 9, 5, and a 6. Obviously, the 9's already limited, so we take out the 5, and then we take out the 6, which leaves us with a possibility of uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 8. Next, we want to use the uh, process of elimination to determine uh, what fits where, and this can be uh, somewhat complicated in a level 4 game. Uh, so, okay, we know these two pieces here. Uh, we want to figure out what we can eliminate. So uh, one question we have is overlap, and we're going to constantly uh, look at that throughout this uh, tutorial here. Now, um, another technique I found helpful is, let's say uh, we want to look at the number 9 here. Well, we know that uh, 9 covers these areas right here, so 9 cannot be in the blue or uh, brown square. It cannot be there. Now, there are five remaining 9s, and the reason we know this is because of the uh, corresponding uh, nine box squares uh, that I've highlighted the one in yellow right here and we know that uh, if a nine is there there cannot be a nine in any other spot uh, so we can eliminate this uh, light blue spot that's not one of the five remaining nines and we can also eliminate a spot there and there now that uh, leaves us with uh, two candidates where there's definitely a nine and because we know there's nines there uh, and, the, and the red boxes we can eliminate uh, these spots for nine. That gives us another spot for nine in the uh, top right hand corner right between the eight and the seven and uh, that eliminates these two spots uh, where nine cannot be. So nine can only be basically in these spots right here and uh, we will use this later as we uh, go through the tutorial here. So we're going to go ahead and put our numbers down and we'll take out the nine, seven, five, and six and we go to the next box, we're taking out the 9 and the 7, and we take out the corresponding uh, vertical 1 and 4. Now, uh, for the rest of the row, we're going to not have the 9 and the 7 in there. Now, what we're going to do is look at the uh, vertical columns, and we're going to remove numbers from the vertical columns. So, columns. So, okay, we got a 4 and a 1. Bye-bye. Uh, we have 3, 1, 4. Uh, those numbers are gone. 8, 4, 2, gone. 2, 5, gone. 2, 3, gone. Okay. Okay, we move on to the next row. The 7 and the 2 we don't need, so we're going to add uh, a bunch of numbers here that don't have 7s and 2s. And then we look at the vertical columns, of course, and we'll take out the corresponding uh, pieces uh, going up and down. Make sure we go all the way on the vertical columns. And we move on to the next row here. Uh, 1, 3, 4, 8 are not going to be included and we want to take out the corresponding vertical columns so remove the corresponding numbers there onto the next row uh, 9, 7, and 3 are not going to be included take out the corresponding vertical columns as we move through the chart here onto the next row 5, 9, 1, 2 uh, again uh, we're going to take those numbers out when we uh, put our possible candidates and then we move to the vertical columns we're going to take out the uh, up and down uh, numbers that are in that particular column there. Onto the next row, same process with the 6, 4, 5. And of course, remove the vertical columns as we move to the, from side to side. Uh, onto this row with a 4, 1, 9, 2, we're going to remove those numbers, which we do. And vertical columns, remove the corresponding numbers again. And we got two more rows to go. Okay, the uh, eight and the six we're removing. And uh, now we can move on to the vertical columns again. Same process. So we've uh, eliminated quite a bit here. We're on to the last row. Move the four to three. And of course the vertical columns. We take out those numbers there. Now uh, will we get to overlap? Uh, eventually. Uh, we have uh, this big maze, and we haven't limited everything, so we want to uh, go to point number four, which is consolidate boxes of nine and then adjust for any overlap. So a box of nine would be something like this right here, where we can only have one of each number, one through nine. And if we zoom in on that, 
we will notice that we cannot have a 9 and we cannot have a 1. So we can eliminate the 9 and the 1 from our uh, box there, which we do, and that makes corresponding changes. We go on to the 734 box, and we'll do the same process. 872, same process. 975, same process. 9631, we eliminate those corresponding numbers, and then the 245, we're going to eliminate those corresponding numbers. Uh, the same with the 864 and the uh, 194 as well as the uh, 23. So we've made uh, a few eliminations here and we're trying to figure out uh, what numbers go where. Now if you go back to the 9, we know there's three spots that we can have a 9 from and uh, that is from our earlier analysis. So we're going to go ahead and put those 9's in, the corresponding, and then after you put the 9's in, we've got to make the corresponding uh, column uh, box and uh, row adjustments. By box, I mean box of 9. Okay, now we uh, look at the number 4. There's quite a few 4's. There's four fours actually. And we're going to see where in the heck these things overlap. Uh, well, there's, uh, if we look at this box right here, there's only one 4. So we can put a 4 there, and that means we can eliminate the corresponding columns. And uh, if we look at this quadrant, or this uh, box 9 spot right here, we'll notice that there's only one 4 in that. So uh, that gives us a 4 there, and we can eliminate that spot. Uh, now there's still uh, some possibilities. We don't know which one the 4 is going to be in if we highlight the other spots. And we go ahead and make our adjustments with the 4 and then we remove the corresponding pieces. And this brings us to point number 5, which is we want to search for numbers that occur uh, once in boxes of 9. By boxes of 9, again, I mean uh, this spot right here. And if you look at this spot more closely, uh, we will notice that uh, there's a number 3 and that number three does not occur anywhere else in this box of nine, which means this particular spot has to be a three. And that means we can eliminate the uh, six and the seven squares, and uh, that also means that the seven is going to be in this particular square right here. So we can take the uh, three and the seven, which helps us out a lot, and we make our corresponding adjustments. And now we see this box has an eight, and that's the only one in there, so we can make that an 8. We make a corresponding adjustments, and now we notice that there's only has a 6 right here, so we put 6, make corresponding adjustments, and now we uh, look at this big box right here. Here's a 7 and a 2, 7 and a 2, and there's a 2 and a 5. Well, uh, we can't have a 2 in all three boxes, obviously. Two can only be in one of the boxes, and it has to be one of the between the seven and the two. So we can eliminate the two right there, and that means that box is a five. So we put five right there, and after we make our corresponding adjustments, we'll notice uh, there's a seven and a two again. And uh, if you look across this column here, or across this row, excuse me, uh, we'll notice that there's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Well, uh, if there's a two is going to be in this particular box right here, that means a 2 cannot be on the 1, 2, 3 spot with a 2, 3, so we can eliminate those 2's. And uh, if we go into this particular box right here, we'll notice that uh, the number 2 is only occurring once, so we can fill that in with a 2, and we make our corresponding adjustments uh, vertically, horizontally. And now we look around and we notice uh, this particular box right here, there is a number 3 that only occurs once, so we can uh, slip in the number three. We make corresponding adjustments. Now if you look up top, notice the number one only occurs uh, one time in this box, so that box is a one there. And you make a corresponding adjustments. Uh, if you look at this particular box in the top right hand corner, the number three only occurs once, so that box is a three. Make corresponding adjustments. And now we notice that uh, the number four only occurs once. Okay, we put that in, make a corresponding adjustments. And we'll notice now that the number one only occurs there. Uh, we put it in, make a corresponding adjustments. Now we notice the number six occurs, make a corresponding adjustments. Uh, now we notice number five, and that means number six will be in the other spot. So we put the five and the six in, make a corresponding adjustments. And this is essentially uh, the process that we use uh, 
for level 4, which is a fairly hard level. Uh, the hardest part is starting out in trying to go through the process of elimination here. Uh, as you can see, uh, we just kind of uh, keep looking for spots. Uh, we don't always select the best spot. We try to keep using the process of elimination uh, to narrow down the candidates and uh, work through uh, possibilities as to what might be where. And the further uh, we work down, obviously, uh, the closer we get to uh, completing this and eventually we'll get to the, the point where we have uh, multiple numbers and we can just uh, take out whole spots as you can see this is getting uh, much closer to be completed here and eventually uh, we get to the point where we complete it and uh, oh we want to double check it against uh, the answer key in the back which we do and uh, fortunately we have the uh, uh, correct answers here. So uh, that's essentially the process about how, how you'd go about uh, tackling a level uh, four uh, puzzle. Uh, it can be uh, fairly challenging, uh, but if you go about it methodically and uh, try to use the uh, process of elimination, it can be uh, quite fun when you complete it. Thank you for watching.